Well, hello, and finally, we're back at the YouTube Bloggers Match 2015. It's our fourth year of doing it now. It certainly doesn't feel like four years. No, but it certainly don't. Finally, we're back on a river again. Um, we're here to the River Seven, and uh, we're after some barbel, aren't we? We are indeed. Um, hopefully, a few of the lads who don't normally go after barbel can hopefully get their first taste of the uh, Prince of the River. Yes, let, let, let's hope so. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, we are, we are filming this on the second day, so we, we do know what's happened, but you, you'll probably see in a little bit what's happened. I managed to get my, uh, I managed to get a barbel last night, no Mark. Yeah, a nice looking fish, very, really very nice happy condition. With that. And hopefully you'll see that in a little bit. But the reason why we're filming this on the second day is because we arrived here in torrential rain, it just rained and rained and rained and rained. Yeah, it certainly it? did, yeah. It was interesting, that's for sure. So we pretty much just hunkered <laughs> down and sat there. I, I made a vow, certainly not to film throughout the day because it just wouldn't have been worth it. But um, yeah, so we just hunkered down and we managed to have a few bites throughout the night. Indeed. And um, I've been around and interviewed people, so you'll see that in a minute uh, and how they get on. But yeah. Yeah, so it's back to, back to square one kind of thing, back onto running water, 2012 all over again. Oh yeah, and in fact the, 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 uh, well, the amount of bloggers are shortened down to very similar numbers. Though, very, it? very similar numbers. A few of the newer lads still coming and a yeah. lot of the integral old school guys that come to the first match along with the um, rest. Yeah, the core team still there, the only people who aren't here are car night because uh, they're very busy people and they've got important things to do. Indeed they are. But, um, but yeah, so we've got the core team here, we've got Merlin and Leo, we've got uh, obviously Dan, Ourselves, uh, what were we team? Fenland for memories. Fenland for memories. Fenland for yeah. memories. And, uh, and then we've got newbies, uh, Joe, Joe and George, and then we've got Chris, Chris as well, who's joining Team Dan. Um, so all looking good at the moment. Yeah. And, you know, it's a lovely day, kind of a bit of a social, bit of a fish, and then hopefully you'll see some people with some barbell later on. Yeah, looking forward to it. Hopefully us, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully us, yeah. Well there we go, it's our first fish of the night. We're off to the start. Team Fenham for memories on the barbel. We reckon it's probably about four pounds. This just came on the, what was it, two 12 Mohammed pellets on a rig I shall take you through in the morning. Very, very happy with this fish. I think we'll get a couple of photos. We'll slip her back. Hopefully it's the first of many to come throughout the bloggers. But all you need to remember is that we got the first, so we are the best. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm with um, the uh, chap who mainly fishes the venue and he kindly uh, donated it for this year's uh, Bloggers Social Match and that's Robert Mitchell. Hello, hello there. Hello, hello. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you Mark. Nice, nice to, to meet you. Nice to have you here Mark. It's a lovely venue, absolutely thank you stunning. Thank so it's, it's a pleasure to have you down here. Uh, it's it's, just, really it's nice. very nice to meet you and, um, and to, to be able to fish such a stunning venue. Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a pleasure having you down here and uh -huh. I hope you catch a few more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone's, you know, Everyone has had a chance. So yeah, that's it. Everyone's on a had an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's really nice. But um, how many years have you fished it on a hole? On a hole, I've fished the seven since I was nine years old. Nine years old. Yeah. yeah um, this used to be private up to two thousand and one. Oh right. And then it, it, the people who owned it, they were more of a salmon um, chasers. They like down the bottom of this swim down yeah. here. You might see later on. Yeah. It's more of a gravel bar. It's more of a salmon um, oh. spawning area. I see. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, so after they went, it was derelict, and we had few of us locals fished it, but it was a it was a mess. It was absolutely disgraceful. I agree. You cleared it up and tidied it up. We cleared it up, yeah. A few me and my mates mm -hmm. we cleared it all up, and we managed to get in touch with the landowner. She very kindly let us lease it for a very nice price and yeah. look after the land. Okay. And it's free for anybody. Oh. It's it's just it's, it's absolutely superb. I mean. You do look after it well, I don't see too much litter at all and it's, it's really nice. I try my hardest. You do, yeah. It's hard, as you know, there's, yeah. there is some 
unfortunate fishermen out there, as yeah, we exactly. should we say. Yeah, exactly. Inverted there. commas kind yeah, of thing. Who need to be yeah. le learned a few lessons, if you know what I mean. But yeah. it's just experience. I always put it down as that they've never been taught properly or they're just lazy. Indeed, indeed. So I always give them the option first as they've never been taught properly. Indeed. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, a, that's a good way and good ethos to have. Yeah. Um, so, what do you consider a, a you know really good day's fishing on this particular stretch? Oh, a good day stretch. The conditions being right and the rod looping over every time, <laughs> every cast, if you know what I mean. I've had days on this very peg with it, you're fishing today. I've had days up to 19 fish in four hours. 19 fish in four hours? Yeah. Christ. Um, it's, it, it fishes very well with a bit of water on it and uh -huh. it fishes very well, but it can fish all year around this peg. It, oh. It's a holding peg. Oh, I get you. And you can, okay. As you can see, it's a bit deeper in front of you than it is over the side of you. Yeah. So it seems to hold the fish. While like, they're travelling through, if you know. What I mean. get you. Yeah. As you say, it's a little bit deeper, three yeah. quarters of the way across. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, it. And it yeah, seems yeah. to hold the fish there. And it's a natural gathering place for the food to mm -hmm. drop and lie into, if you know what I mean, from mm -hmm. the above. I get you. It's quite a, quite a stark contrast to some of the rivers I fish, like the Loddon and yeah. the Blackwater, where where some of the stretches on the Loddon you're fishing for large fish but low stock. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's a complete turnaround where you're fishing for a quite a high populace or biomass of, of barbel and you, you, you find that you're having to feed more and regularly. That's it, true, yeah. You, you, I always start a session of casting every five to ten minutes, uh -huh. the first hour or so, build, build a better beta, and then you start getting the knocks, so you can start slowing it down, if you know what I mean. I but get, yeah. until you get the knocks, you need to keep on putting the bait in there to trap the fish Indeed, up. Indeed, you know and just I mean. draw them into the area. Yeah, and like, yeah, like I said before, the average stamp on here is five pounds, four or five pounds, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. But you're lovely not, conditioned fish. Yeah, you're not catching monsters, if you know what I mean. No. There are double figures on here, All but right. this is more of a gravel bed area. You I seem get to get the small males and the odd female come up I and get sort of it. through, if you know what I mean. Yeah, nice looking fish though, really good condition. Yeah, I try my hardest to keep them as mint as I can, but yeah. it's not all in my hands. If you no, know what exactly. Mean. Yeah. Well, it's really a pleasure to meet you. And you, and Mark. Thank you once yeah, again. Yeah, so, and hopefully it'll be another time. Yeah, well, I certainly look forward to it, and if you want to come down my way, you're welcome to, mate. Guaranteed. Yeah. Okay, take care, mate. Thank you. Oh, well, there it is, guys. Sweatshirt worn by a legend. Many people want to be him, but no one is curly enough to be him. So, with Chris in his swim, how did last night go for you? Uh, yeah, very well actually. First time ever barbel fishing. First night, got a barbel. Any size? A £5.12. Nice, nice. So, um, not massive, but still happy. So no, longer from a, a... no longer a barbel virgin? No, no more. <laughs> but Excellent. yeah, uh, still an okay size. Cool. First ever time, camera was about to go yeah. there. <laughs> Ah, that's good. No, nice, uh, very nice. And what time is that? Uh, just after midnight. We're uh, just about to go to bed because we were all up chatting all night and then just after midnight, just about to go to bed and left arm rod, right arm rod, sorry, which is just down to me margin, mm -hmm. screamed off. And yeah, ah, marble on the bank. Nice, very nice indeed. I'm reliably informed that you had a load of cows in your swim. I didn't actually see him myself, I was still snoring my head off when he <laughs> came through. Oh, I bet that was music to your ears. <laughs> that was an utterly terrible joke. Oh, <laughs> touche. <laughs> right then guys, my first ever barbel. Caught on my margin rod. Five pounds, 12 ounces, did you say Joe? Yeah. Sir. I'm very happy. Brilliant. It gives me confidence as well. If you can catch one, I should be able to. <laughs> but, uh, what was your checklist, Joe? Uh, beating Fennel. <laughs> but yeah, I'm well happy. My first ever barbell and it's a half decent one as well. Well done. Nice. 
Here we go, it's coming up about 20 to 3 in the morning, I think Dan said. Uh, absolutely tore off, people don't joke when they say they fly off. George didn't hear a thing, but Dan came running down from probably about 150 yards away, he heard it. £7.01, my first ever barbell, so I am absolutely over the moon with that. Not only because it's my first barbell, but it smashed Chris's barbell out of the water. So uh, <laughs> that's what it's all about really, isn't it? So as long as it's bigger than Chris's, I'm happy. Well, but only on this occasion. The only downside is uh, I stood on my bad foot and it's bloody agony right now, but And me and cares? George stood in a cow pack. Yeah, they did both stand in cow shit. <laughs> and you tangled up my rod. And I tangled up the rod. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> this thing fought like a demon. But there we go. I'm over the moon with that. I'm gonna grab a few pictures and slip it back. I see you having fun with the cows. I hate the cows. I hate the uh, cows. So I'm here with Merlin. He's uh, decided to go upstream and hunt an area that's uh, a little bit enclosed and do a little bit of jungling. That's any right. any joy, Merlin? A few taps, a few taps on the quiver. Probably little chublets or roach or dace or things like that. Um, but where they are, the barbell aren't far behind. So hopefully one of them will come along soon. It's got a bucket of ground bait underneath me and a few homemade boilies going out in the three ounce feeder. Just sort of. Um, it's a little bit gravelly until you get about a quarter of the way out and then it drops off into the main flow and that's where most of the water's coming through. So I've just dropped it into there and yeah, a few taps but nothing else yet but happy to stay down here. Not like I can really get out. So. Indeed, and you're making up for Carl this season. That's right, there's, there's got to be some poaching done. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's a YouTube bloggers match tradition. So. It wouldn't be the same without it. That's right, yeah. So but, um, this little swim. I heard your alarm go last night, so you, you had a run by barbel by the sound of it. I had a screaming run by barbel. It was a couple of taps and then another couple of taps, and I was sitting up looking at it and I thought it might go. And then so all of a sudden, the rod tip just went down and it flew, absolutely flew. Um, but picked it up, there was resistance there, and then I think it must have, the, the hook loop must have got caught around a rock or some weed or something, and it parted, unfortunately. So. Mark's very kindly given me some fluorocarbon hook loop, which I'm going to put on for this evening on both rods. Go out with our homemade boilies again, and hopefully, hopefully catch one. Yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed indeed. Indeed. Well, best of luck, mate. Cheers, man. Well, there we go. It's my second barbel now, second one for the team. Absolutely beautiful little fish, bristling, bristling fit. Probably about a pound, two pound. Uh, just cut it on a lobworm on a light feeder, put it on a light feeder rod, tip whack round. Just chatting to Rob saying he hadn't had much action for a while. Absolutely spot on. Christine Fish, very happy angler. Look at that, what an absolute pretty, pretty Upper River Seven barbers grow on to be a little mean beastie. But yeah, anyway, happy with that. A barbel for a barbel angler. And uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm made up with that anyway. It's always nice to have a fish from, you know, first fish from a new venue. Anyway, let's get it slipped back. How perfect. So tell me, how, how's it been going for you, Leo? Yeah, it's been good fun. Um, I haven't really had much in the way of fish. Merlin's had a little chublet. Uh, we had two good takes last night, um, one each. Um, mine was about 10 o'clock uh, and then that just came off. Uh, and then Merlin had one I think just around midnight and that one also came off. Um, but they were very good takes so it's quite encouraging. Definitely barbel. 
Yeah, definitely yeah. Marvel. Yeah. yeah. Typical kind of mad manic take. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So but you got cut off. Yeah. yeah but it's um makes you quite hopeful for tonight then. Yeah, exactly. So keep the mate going in and uh, fingers crossed we should have a couple. Indeed. That German efficiency kicking in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, another one falling to the uh, chop worm or worm lob tail. Cracking fish, got a good fight in the feeder rod. Absolutely chuffed with him. Awesome. Alright, slip it back. George, what, what in my mouth? A lady in the trap. That's generally where you eat things. Look, I, I'm, not, I'm not putting this hot dog in my mouth. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> yeah. We spread it all over the place, and then you try to dig it up, but it was everywhere. You tried to dig it up this morning, didn't you? He did. No, I shoveled shit for the first time. <laughs> yeah, but it was spread over like nine like meters. <laughs> it's clean. Have our friends from under the underpass gone? Mm, they walk on. Oh, move along. Uh -huh. They're not getting any better, Chris. Well, I've got two cameras going here, chaps. This is going to be interesting. I'll look at this one. <laughs> okay, I'll try it. <laughs> um, anyway, so we're just coming through now. We've had our little bit of social. Haven't had one that small for a few years, have we? No, we haven't. And even the cows would come to investigate. Yeah, exactly. That's quite interesting. With Merlin's bizarre fear. Well, not bizarre, but he's got a fear of cows. It's very, very funny for all of us. Hmm. Sat here now. I'm a teammate, Mr. Erdwin. Yep. Cup of tea. Nice weather. Lovely evening. Hopefully a few barbell in front, we uh, spotted the granny out of some munger Indeed. earlier on out there and we're just waiting now for hopefully the barbell to move on yeah. to the spot. But it's absolutely beautiful and a while away, a few hours, watching the tips and um, yeah, we might have a few barb. Yeah, it's always great watching tips. Tits or tips, Mark? Uh, tips, sorry. Either, either or for me. Sorry, yeah. are you? Well, I, I was going to show you. Variable, whatever you like. So we're going to have a tea and dine on some uh, mega duo <laughs> Milena de Chocolat. It is a, I use a Francais biscuit. I had a bite of my rod then. Uh, oh. Oh. No, I might, I might be just losing bottom. Very yeah, exciting, folks. Still happening here. Yeah, I've just lifted Ooh, there. Happening. Just lifted. Yeah. It's a kind of dubious name for a biscuit, isn't it? Mega duo. Mega duo. Sounds a bit. Interesting. Yes. Say no French more. This week. <laughs> but um, yep. Yeah, so fishing to the night again. It's yeah. going to chuck it down in the morning uh, from about nine o'clock onwards. So again, it's going to be a rush to get all our stuff down and get it all in the cars and stuff before uh, it absolutely pisses it down with rain. Mm. Then the arduous journey back begins. But don't you worry. I'll be back, Bridge North. Too I'll right. be back. There you go. Four pounds, twelve ounces. Up River 7 Barbel. Long time in the wait. I actually got a second chance after losing the first one on the first cast. Uh, <laughs> absolutely chuffed at this. Um, did did wait until the very last morning. But, uh, I'm so glad to get one after all. And it, uh, I, I give it a really tender battle. Even though it's only a four pound fish, it forks up like something a lot heavier. Really happy now. Well done, Dan. Yeah, nice one, mate. Nice one. Right, so it's come to the end of uh, the 2015 Vox match, our fourth one now. Back on the River 7. Have everyone enjoyed it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's been great. Good stuff. Um, so, time for the uh, prize giving. They got two prizes this year one for the biggest fish, <laughs> and all knew that to be, and one for the unlucky stand. So we'll go for the biggest fish first, and that's you, Joe. I think it's seven pounds something. On Saturday, yeah. First so this yeah, is right. your prize. It's a bucket full of food, yeah. A lot of colours to buy. And uh, also trophy, which is a great way. Yeah, I'll photoshop it here or something. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'd uh, just like to thank nothing but tag up on. Yeah, yeah. Don't do it. Sorry about that. Seriously, like this. Uh, also, I'm lucky to stand with We've got two prizes. There's a lot of PVA here and various. Basically, it was a 
Which we found out all the time. Right next to the gate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well,